Okay, so I had to stop the video. So hopefully, now I'm going to have two videos here and hopefully I'll be able to combine them. If not, maybe I'll just redo this. So, um, so yeah, a few years ago, uh, I think maybe about three years ago, I decided that I wasn't going to drink. I never remember uh, things a lot. Uh, well, not never, but I, I don't remember some things. I forget things sometimes. So it was either for my birthday or for Alyssa's birthday. I don't remember which one. But we went out and Applebee's had like dollar margaritas or something. And we were gonna go out, or maybe we were just going out just to go out anyway. But so we were going out and we were gonna have a margarita. And we were only gonna have one because um, we were gonna go to a movie after that. So we didn't wanna like, you know, be drunk. And also, Alyssa was driving, so she definitely, we figured if she had one drink and then went to the movie, by the time we got out, she would be okay. And she was. She was totally fine. So, we're having the drinks, and I'm like, these are really good, but they're like watered down. I'm not getting a buzz. Let's have another one. And... Alyssa was like, well, I have to drive later. I'm not going to have another one. And and I um, don't think you should. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I don't need to have a drink. And so from that point on, I decided that, you know, this needing a drink, needing more than have it, having a drink if, because it's there and... Having more than one drink because it's cheap or it's free, that I might, you know, that's not healthy. And then I really thought about how I act when I have a lot of drinks. And I really evaluated how I'm nasty and cranky and mean to the people who care about me and are trying to help with me. And then I decided not to drink. And since then, I've had a few times where I'll think to myself, oh, I want a drink. And it's funny because when I used to drink only occasionally, um, I didn't think like, oh, I want a drink. I would just be like, okay, I'm going to have a drink. And then I would have three or four or whatever. So, but that addiction that is always there, like... Especially if I'm, I'm having a rough day, then uh, I'll think, well, you know what, I can have, I'm going to have a drink. It'll distract me. It'll calm me down. So uh, that's how I, and I, I used to tell myself, like, well, I don't really, I'm not really an alcoholic because I never had these problems. I know, you know, my dad went out, uh, what made him stop was, you know, I was a baby and he realized he was out all night drinking and he didn't, you know, I guess, you know, having a screaming one-year-old probably is a good motivation. <laughs> you don't want to wake up, you don't want to wake up with a hangover with that, but, um, but so then he realized, you know, this has to stop. And for me, that realization, thankfully, was before it got to that point, but I, I have an alcohol problem. I have addiction tendencies. I, I am aware of this, and just because my um, pro uh, alcoholism, addiction, ten addictive tendencies might be smaller than other people, that doesn't make it any less. And that's, that it's just as valid. And that's something I struggle with with my depression too. I'll think, well, I'm not that bad. Why? My problems aren't that bad. 
what do I have to be depressed about? Well, it's a mental illness. And addiction is a mental illness as well. And those are both things that I have. And they're just because my mind might tell me that they are smaller than others, they are just as valid. So if you feel that you are having these issues and you think that, oh, I don't really have that big of a problem, maybe evaluate and maybe try and stop drinking or whatever your vice is before it gets too bad. And I'm so, so lucky that I have someone who cares about me that was supportive. Alyssa doesn't really drink anymore either. Since I've been sober, there was like maybe one time where she had some drinks and I, I didn't. And I was, I told her, it's okay, you can have a drink just because I can't. It doesn't mean you can't. And, but she doesn't really drink that much either since. So I'm so lucky that I have this support. I am so lucky that I have this support and I know that some people don't or they feel that they don't, but you do. There are places, there's AA, there's helplines, there's places you can reach out to. Um, so especially if you have a mental illness, uh, another mental illness like anxiety or depression, because in itself addiction is a mental illness as well. So if you have depression or anxiety, you, I think you really, or any other mental illness, you really should consider not drinking and not self-medicating. And if you see someone that you care about struggling, reach out to them, talk to them. You know, if I had kept, told Alyssa, no, I'm fine, and I kept drinking, you know, when we were out, who knows what could have happened. Maybe I would have kept drinking and it would have pushed me away from her and I would have been nastier. And so if you see your friend struggling, reach out. And I know that my good friend, Alan Carey, they lost their son, Matt, to suicide. And I know that Al had said that they didn't know that he had started drinking a lot more. So if you see some, your friend, someone you care about, and they're starting to drink more, it, you should consider what, why are they doing this? And you should have a talk with them because you can save someone's life. It might be hard, it might hurt, you might think this could make them mad at me, but in my experience, when you care about someone and you reach out to them, it, it helps. It helps, it helps you to know that you did everything that you could and it, hel it could help them. And maybe they won't, maybe they'll be angry with you, maybe they'll get defensive. But for me, I think it, I would feel better, even if this person pushed away from me, I would feel better knowing that I did everything that I could. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other. If you're having any addictions to alcohol or drugs, please reach out to someone. There are plenty of people out there who want to help you, who want to support you. And don't don't wait to reach out to someone you care about if you see them struggling because you never know when it might be too late. So be kind to each other and be kind to yourselves, everyone. <laughs>